So if you're looking to purchase a home and you want to get through the process with the least tassels as quickly and easily as possible, there's a little known type of loan approval that your loan officer or mortgage advisor may be able to get for you before you even go under contract on a property. In today's training, I'm going to give you all the details. Hi, it's Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower individuals to take control of their future through expert mortgage and financial strategies. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also click the bell so you get notified for any and all of our future content. So in today's training, I want to talk about something called a TBD loan approval. And what that stands for is a to be determined loan approval. This is a special type of little known loan approval that your mortgage advisor should be able to get for you before you even go under contract on a property. And what this entails is the underwriter doing a full review of your loan file, including your credit, your income and your assets to make a decision on your loan before you even have a specific property in mind. And why would you want to do this? Well, as we'll talk about, it can really take a lot of the hassle and stress out of the process. It can also reduce the timeline significantly. So what this is going to do is once the underwriter reviews all your documentation and does a TBD approval, they're going to issue out the conditions on your loan that are not specific to the property. So things like the appraisal and the title search, those are going to be specific to the property that you're buying. But since at the time of the TBD loan approval, you don't have that information, those conditions will not be able to be satisfied until after you go under contract but they will be able to give you all the conditions related to your income, related to any issues on your credit report, questions or concerns on old addresses, credit inquiries, or anything of that nature, and also anything to do with your assets, the money that you're gonna be using for closing, bank statements, retirement, those sort of things. They'll review all of that up front, so any type of questionable issue or concern can get handled before you're even under contract. And the reason that this is a big deal is because, as many people will tell you who've bought homes, there's a lot of different timelines that you need to adhere to once you're under contract. By getting this TBD loan approval up front before you're under contract on a home, you can get all these issues out of the way. You can know that you're safe and you're about 90% of the loan process is done at the point that the TBD loan approval and those conditions have been satisfied. Then it's just a matter of going under contract, getting the appraisal, the title search, and those property specific conditions. Those cannot be handled again until after you're under contract on a property. So what this allows you to do is gives that really fast closing timeline. I mean, once someone has a TBD loan approval, you could technically close their loan in as little as even two weeks or less. So it can really shorten that timeline that many people see as a major hurdle in the home buying process. The other thing that that allows you to do is give a more competitive offer. So with my clients that we do these TBD loan approvals for, I'll actually put a pre-approval letter together and write in there in big bold print that the underwriter has reviewed and approved their income, asset, and credit documentation. And we have a full loan approval from underwriting, not just some automated approval through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or FHA, but a full loan approval based on this person's credit income and assets that an underwriter, an actual live person, has verified and reviewed everything and given their blessing to move forward. So that gives you that comp uh, competitive offer. When they have your offer with the TBD loan approval and they have someone else's offer, just a regular pre-qualification or pre-approval letter, then they're gonna go with your offer because it's the more sure thing. Uh, it's going to give them that warm and fuzzy feeling that this is a buyer that can actually purchase my property. So it gives you that competitive edge, which is so important right now in today's housing market. Now, not all lenders offer a TBD loan approval. That's why, as we talked about in other videos, you want to be very particular on the mortgage advisor or loan officer that you choose to handle this home purchase, which is probably the biggest or one of the biggest transactions you'll ever make with your finances in your entire lifetime. So you want to make sure up front, if you're someone that's got potential credit issues or income, uh, income concerns, this is where the TBD loan approval can really shine because we can get all those issues out of the way and get them handled 
before you're under contract and give you that sigh of relief that you can know that weight off your shoulders that your loan is moving full speed ahead and that those issues have been handled. So make sure you discuss this up front with your mortgage advisor. Make sure that they are able to offer this for you. And if they aren't, then shop around. Talk to some other lenders. Talk to another advisor that maybe can offer this. Um, so I hope that this has been of help to you. I hope that you'll share this with others. And I hope that you'll comment below. Thanks for watching and please follow me on all social media. If I can be of assistance to you or anyone that you know with the home buying process, feel free to reach out to me by call, text, or private message. We'll talk to you soon.